Hi everyone, this is Felix and welcome back to We Make It Easy. For today's video, we're gonna learn about the basic operators in Scilab. Scilab is a free and open source software for numerical computations, providing a powerful computing environment for engineering and scientific applications. And also, Scilab includes hundreds of mathematical functions. It is a high-level programming language allowing access to advanced data structures, 2D and 3D graphical functions. A large number of functionalities is included in Scilab are the following. Maths and simulations, 2D and 3D visualization, optimization, statistics, control system, signal processing, application development, x cos dynamic system modeling. Moreover, Scilab can also act as a unique platform to bring together codes written in different programming languages in a single unified language, thus facilitating their distribution, their backup, and use. In addition, we will learn first about maths and simulation, specifically about basic operators in Scilab. So, let's get started! Scilab is capable of simple mathematical calculations as well as complex calculations. From the operator's point of view, Scilab is able to fulfill arithmetic calculations, comparison, and logical operations. Arithmetic operators in Scilab Within Scilab, we can perform additions, subtractions, multiplications, left and right divisions, exponentiations. Except exponentiations, all mathematical operations can be applied to scalars, vectors, and matrices. And also, Scilab sets priorities regarding to the calculations order.
And that's it for arithmetic operations. There are some cases in which a user would like to multiply not as a usual matrix multiplication but term by term. For matrix operation, there is also a special operator, the dot operator, which plays before the normal operator that changes the calculation result. The dot operator applies the normal operator for each member of the matrix. For example, And that's it for that operator. Let's go ahead and learn about relational comparison operators in Scilab. In order to compare two or more variables between them, Scilab uses the relational operators. With these operators, you can make the following comparison. Smaller, greater, smaller or equal, greater or equal, equal or not equal. The output of the comparison will be a variable type, a boolean type, which is true or false. The comparison operators can be applied also to matrices, strings, or complex numbers. Let's have some example. That's it for relational comparison operators in Scilab and let's go to learn about logical operators in Scilab. In order to perform logical operation in Scilab, we can use AND, OR, or NOT operators. Now, logical operators are mostly used within conditional loop like IF, WHILE, etc. The logical operators can be used in order to test several conditions in the same, at the same time. Let's have some example.
And that's it. I think these are the Scilab operators that you'll use in your applications. If you can manage these simple operators, you can build a complex complications. They are the basics in Scilab programming. For any questions, suggestions, observations, and queries regarding Scilab, use a comment below in the comment section. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.